he is music through and through. And I knew of his reputation when I was in the UK. And he is very highly thought of on both sides of the Atlantic. He's done all of the royal weddings and indeed all of the stuff at Buckingham Palace and Kew Palace for Queen Elizabeth II for her 80th uh, birthday celebrations and all the rest of it. I think his whole personality is wow. Not just one thing. He has such a great energy. And you know, he can really do it all. I mean, he started singing, then he was a violinist and concertmaster, and now he's a conductor. And I think one thing that I've noticed here that um, I've really appreciated is how invested he is in our educational outreach. Christopher and his wife Rosemary have invested so, so much in, in the Charlotte area. Um, and it really shows. We had the most brilliant time in Charlotte. To be so privileged to be asked by the symphony to help with what was Winterfield's Strings, uh, which became Project Harmony, which is such a wonderful flagship program now for so many young children. I watched at-risk children who didn't have um, an idea of what direction to go in and they got a chance to play music and he was able to give those kids that purpose. He's called the maestro for a reason, <laughs> that's what I say. He really makes you love playing because he, even if he's just on the podium like directing you, it's never he's just on the podium, like he's always giving information, he's always giving tips on how to play by standing in front of you just conducting. There are a handful of really inspiring moments I think about where the music just seems to take over. And the electricity that's caused in those moments just radiates off the stage. And I get, I get goosebumps thinking about it. It's amazing how he can captivate the people and bring them in and bring them into on stage because, you know, our, our medium is so, you know, we're up there playing but we don't move around. And so he can really set a really terrific mood at the beginning of a concert. Um, and get ready uh, to take those people on the journey through the music. I was on the committee that interviewed him, the search committee, and um, you couldn't help but be taken with his outgoing personality. One of the things that Christopher did that was really impressive, after the riots, he called for a symphony in the afternoon. I think it had a very calming effect in it showed that we were alive as a city and pulling together, coming together, and it showed everybody that we did better together than we did apart. So Christopher's the man behind the screen who hired me and like welcomed me here with open arms, supported me, challenged me, um, and it just a person who changed my life. He is unpredictable in the best way. Um, essentially, concerts are never the same, so it's always just you're on your toes and you're, you're listening for the next thing, and he's just like making it so exciting. I'm going to miss seeing his uh, gray head of hair <laughs> popping above the stage, you know, when he's working with us. You had uh, an axis of a cough during the concert and uh, solo on the dance very softly going up in the stratosphere on the violin softer and softer and softer and i'm looking up at you and you were trying so hard not to cough and you were turning red 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 and trying to s not to burst into any 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 noise and finally i i just finished and i looked up and you you put your head down and started finally coughing after the last chord the one thing that stands out in a list of so many was when we were really struggling as an organization and there was a real risk that we would have to close our doors. And he was the first person to step up and say, I will do whatever we need to do to stay open. I think our next conductor is gonna recognize the discipline and the magnificent leadership that Christopher has given to our orchestra, such that the next conductor gets a much better symphony than did Christopher.
Christopher Warren Green, you are legendary in our city. We are so proud of the energy and the commitment that you brought to the orchestra. We can't thank you enough for being here. We just want more of you. <laughs> Christopher, it has been an honor and a pleasure to work with you. Best of best wishes, best of luck, bon voyage. I have learned so much from you and have treasured our times both in and around rehearsal. It's been a real joy. Good luck with you. You're going to be greatly missed. I'm going to miss you and I hope that your next chapter is fruitful and um, fulfilling. I just want to thank you for helping us interpret the music our own way and I hope you the best in life. It's been such a treat just to get to know you, to work with you, and I wish you all the best going forward. Thank you very, very much for all the years, for the repertoire that uh, you introduced us to. Christopher, thank you so much for leading us through the past year, especially, and uh, giving me my job. I, I've loved every minute of it. I just want to say thank you for being uh, so engaged with the symphony, and thank you for all the years that you've provided leadership. I want to thank you so much for your many years of contribution to the Charlotte Symphony, and um, I wish you the very best in everything you do in the future, and hope to see you very soon. Christopher, you are my heart and I will never be able to fully thank you for everything you've done for this organization. I send you all the best wishes for the future, congratulations for the past, be well, and I hope to see you all very soon. We love you, and we know that we'll see you again. We're not gonna let you get too far away. We'll always be able to reach out and touch you, and you'll always be in our hearts, you and Rosie and Jamie and your entire family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've made me a better player, you've made the Charlotte Symphony a better player, and I think you've made the community in Charlotte a better place. All the very best in everything that you do. Uh, it's, been, it's been a hoot. I send you all my love and warmest congratulations. Take care. Probably what I like the most is you allowed me as an Australian to teach you how to speak English correctly, and I know you appreciated those lessons. The only thing that I think is kind of a shame is that we are doing your farewell virtually because I'd like to give you a, a, a COVID uh, a thoughtful hug, and hopefully we can do that next year. And we're very grateful that you've agreed to be our conductor laureate, as well as our musical advisor. I think without a doubt, this symphony has really, really grown and blossomed under his leadership. And I just uh, want to say thank you for sharing the journey. Christopher and Rose, we're sorry you're going away. We wish we, that you could stay. We know, know we, we will miss you. you. We, we wish we could kiss you. We're sorry, sorry you're going away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how off key was that? Oh, God, he'll love it. There's a tradition in Great Britain of having a blue plaque on the wall that recognizes where a great person lived. And if our Charlotte Symphony had a blue plaque, we would all always be proud that one of those plaques reads, Christopher Warren Green, violinist and conductor, made great music here.